Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. For women, a hard man is good to find. Knows what I did there? Usually they say a good man is hard to find. And no, for women, they looking more for the hard man. Now, for all my select brothers and brothers from other mothers, right? One of the keys, of course, I always talk about the body game. One of the keys that can put women into a trance is a hard body. And that gets into that gets into the really the deeper blueprint of sexual relations, the natural blueprint. Because despite all our religion, all, all our society, all our uh, civilization, it really comes down to who can make that woman's ovaries buzz. Now, on a natural blueprint, a, a natural man is hard. He's stronger than a woman. He got more muscle build, more bo- uh, less body fat than a woman. You know, because a man is built to be a protector. The DNA, if allowed, is real natural expression. You know, it's optimal expression in a man will make him hard. And this is regardless. This is regardless of... Uh, You know, this is regardless of, uh, you know, where he grows up or wherever. If allowed expression, usually we have a lot of stuff that doesn't uh, facilitate that. And, you know, we we have a society, we, and that's one of the big problems out here now. There's not a lot of hard bodies. But see, that's the natural thing because the man, he needs to be, he needs to be physically strong. He needs to be able to fight something. He needs to be able to run down like that antelope, he needs to be able to hunt. He's built that way. Like one of the things that's happened now, we don't hunt anymore. The overwhelming majority of people don't hunt for food. Even many of the hunters who do hunt for deer or something, they hunting for sport. You know? But no, very few people are hunting and they have to, very few men are hunting to the point where they need that animal to build a, help build a nest or clothes or to sustain themselves. I mean, you know, somebody can go to a fast food restaurant, even if they're a hunter. They might eat that deer meat or something, but, you know, they don't need it. But that helps facilitate hardness. And see, on a natural level, DNA level, a woman, when she sees that hard body, she'll go into a mild trance. And for a man to understand that, for a man to understand that, think about what type of woman drives you the craziest. For most men, not all men, of course, and even for women, some women don't like a hard body, but that that's a complication. Remember, anything I'm saying on here, we got to speak in general terms. There's always an exception. There's always an exception. Now, what do men like in a woman? Soft bodies. Like a woman, if she got like, uh, one of the reasons when men go crazy over pregnant women is their bodies will tend to be softer even if it wasn't at first. Now, they, they seriously, guys go see a pregnant woman, all of a sudden, you know, she get a little bit more meat on her. Uh, if she had a hard features at first or something, you know, she get a little bit more fat, more rounded. Shoot, that drive a guy crazy. But that's a DNA thing. That's down to the DNA. You know, because that's the natural thing that 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 entices a man on a DNA level. If you look at the women who men go the craziest over, regardless of culture, they have a tight body, but also a combination of tight but soft. They ain't going to have a lot of striations. They ain't going to have a lot of cuts in their muscles. Of course, there's exceptions. You got some women out there who will cut up like crazy. But at the same time, how many men are finding them attractive? Real talk. (laughs) How many men are finding them attractive? Like the uh, women who are going to draw the most attention, they're going to have like a little, they're going to be, have a slightly more endomorphic look. So if you say if that's the case for women, of course it's the case for men to have the opposite, have the complementary thing. You know, so a lot of these women, that's what they're looking at. Now I talked about, you know, I always talk about the physique. Talked about it earlier this week. You know, now I say it is different sizes for women, but if you have that hardness, like you can be a big dude, but if you have, if you have the general uh, thing that comes across as hard. Like overall body presence that comes across as hard, women go crazy. Women go crazy. 
you know, it's it is just it's just off the look. And see, when they see a hard body, when they see a hard body, they automatically go into a receptive mode. They might even go into a mild trance. And if a man can recognize that, he he can walk up. Hey, how you doing? You know, let's go away someplace. She's like, okay, <laughs> that's extreme, but it can happen. I've seen that happen, like, real quick. Like, the woman get turned on by the man's body, and then as long as he don't fuck it up, boom. And that's what many women actually look for. If you, Because think about something. Think about something. You know, there's plenty of women out here who uh, say they're looking for a man. But there's actually, there's, I mean, even though generally, generally women outnumber men, there's a lot of men who ain't getting that attention. And they, they ain't bad guys. But if you look at their body builds or something, it ain't like you know it might not have that hardness to it, because the women are looking for that physicality. Now I know some guys get mad when I point that shit out, but you know I don't have time to lie to people. Why? What? Why would I lie to people? At some point, men have to like deal with the reality. Now for my select brothers on here, for my select brothers, you know this. And really, even me doing this podcast is just explaining, okay, on a deeper level, what's going on. Like, you might know it instinctively, but on a deeper level, that's that DNA thing. That's that hardness. That's what they're looking for. You know? They, they, they automatically feel good. I mean, they, they automatically go there. Now, of course, there's other stuff that come in there. Other stuff, secondary stuff, like, you know, religion, social class, economic class, all of that stuff. But if a woman, hey, if a woman, they find that hard man, he's like, yeah, we good. They call their girlfriends. Oh, I found this dude. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I got for this one. Have a great day now. Peace and many blessings.